Good day, Shabbos, everyone, and welcome to the weekly shir in the Besura Sagula Dvar Malchus, the Siches of Tovshin Unalev. The week of Shabbos Pash is Bamidbar, something very, very interesting or really devastating happened. The Rebbe started giving us a big chayis, brought Moshiach out of the freezer, so to speak. And unfortunately, as we mentioned previously, even in Lubavitch, there were those which were hesitant. And of course, that that leads to outside Lubavitch becoming a big joke. Everybody knows what we fabreng about. The Pesach says that when the Meraglim, the spies, went into Eretz Yisrael, they said, We were like grasshoppers in our eyes, small, defeatable. And that's the way they looked at us. And Mashpiyam fabreng that because... We were small in our eyes, therefore we became small in the eyes of those around us. Because in Lubavitch there were those which were hesitant and very uncomfortable, the whole Mashiach thing, that leads that the world started joking and turned Mashiach into a Latsonis. And the Rebbe was so upset that caused him such Admas Nefesh that the biggest, most precious item, the Mashiach, which is the purpose of the whole creation, should become a joke. But instead of lashing out against those people, the our Rebbe, who's Oyav on Shal Yisrael, who's such a lover of every single Yid, addressed it from a very, very Rachmanistic point. And by the end of the Sicha, and you could see it in Ois Yud Gimel of the Sicha of Bamid Bar Tavshin Onalav, there is no Basura Segula for this week. The Rebbe says that we have to get rid of all the Halamis Vestatum, all the things which are concealing in the time of Golos, and all the questions about Moshiach and the Geula. And the Rebbe says, where does this come from? The Rebbe doesn't blame the Eden. The Rebbe blames the Abishter. He says, because Eden were born in Golos, and we were raised in Golos, therefore, hear this Lushen, we became a Golos mensch, we became Golos people, and we developed a Golos Tzustan, a Golos mentality. So we have to break that. In other words, the reason why people are so cynical about Mashiach, because we feel like we were in Golos, our parents, our grandparents, to us, this is our reality. And therefore, we are cynical and skeptical about any change, and we almost laugh internally and sometimes externally about the whole concept of Mashiach. But the Rebbe says we can break out of that by revealing our Neshama which really comes, the Rebbe had revealed to us through learning about Moshiach. Because our Neshama, listen to this Loshim, the Neshama is always higher than Golos. So if you get in touch with your Neshama, it will elevate you to a place which is out of the Golos, which is out of this trap, out of this mentality, this Golos Tzushtan. And the Neshama is always in a matzav of Menucha, which is Me'ein of Shabbos of Menucha L'chai Elohim, which is already tasting Moshiach, so when we get in touch with our neshama, in other words, we elevate ourselves to a level where there's no questions, we see the light, the earth of Mashiach, automatically the questions, skepticism, cynicism about Mashiach disappears, and then we can actually prepare ourselves and the world around us for Kabbalah's Pnei Mashiach Tzadkenu, a good Shabbos to everyone.